the content delivery networks are assumed to be mostly situated close to the um, core content delivery network architecture, primarily residing in the data center. But for new users who access these uh, content delivery networks through mobile, uh, they are more interested in getting services which are more akin to their and more uh, mindful of their uh, constraints in mobile environments. So uh, the information dissemination or the uh, object sharing distribution in mobile CDNs is an important concern. Here we are talking about mobile users and the content delivery network for mobile users is termed as mobile CDNs. So we'll take a formal definition uh, we'd look at the architecture and some more details. So mobile CDNs are basically a surrogate servers as you understand that the origin server once burdened needs some kind of support of surrogate servers. Now these uh, surrogate servers deliver the content in mobile network infrastructure hence the name. So typical CDN architectures um, uh, have to take into effect, take into account some uh, mob mobility specific uh, um, requirements. That is, mobile networks have scarcity of resources, understandable. Compare a mobile phone with a laptop or a desktop. Then the users are on the move. So it means some kind of uh, ambulatory behavior of users is a limiting factor in the smooth provisioning of uh, uh, services in um, mobile environments. Then the user is interested in getting more location specific uh, services and uh, the network is not always uh, supporting. So there are frequent uh, uh, flaky links and frequent dis uh, disconnections. With this in view, uh, the architecture uh, that could support uh, mobility that is a mobile CDN has to take into account some servers, the surrogate servers, which will replicate the origin server content. Now this, uh, these surrogate servers have to be located close to the telecommunication or the wires, wireless infrastructure, including the mobile switching centers and the base station controllers. Now, there has to be some kind of infrastructure, including both wired and wireless, to deliver content to optimal surrogate. The surrogates are, have been deployed, but now the mobile phone or the uh, uh, mobile user is in the proximity of certain surrogate, so the closest has to be accessed. And uh, some kind of uh, um, feedback mechanism to measure and ensure quality of service should also be there. Then we also need to have a cache manager for content replication across uh, these uh, surrogates. And uh, once these uh, uh, cache managers have encached the uh, content, the content location manager has to now uh, facilitate uh, and schedule uh, data provisioning to the users which uh, are in close proximity. This could be pulled, the data could be pulled or the data could be pushed either way. Then last but not the least, an accounting mechanism for uh, collecting logs and information uh, so that the strategy for replication, caching, surrogate deployment and surrogate access mechanisms could be improved. Uh, now let's look at a typical mobile content delivery network. Mm, on top right, we have the origin server. This uh, origin server is being supported through surrogates. These surrogates are distributed across uh, Europe, um, Asia, uh, US, uh, uh, and uh, these surrogates are uh, uh, providing localized coverage to different uh, wired com wireless infrastructures. Uh, let's take an example of surrogate server in United Kingdom. Here there's a cellular network, uh, say 4G LTE, 
uh, offering internet connectivity to the mobile users so intuitively and uh, by by evidence it can be seen that the mobile users must get the content uh, replicated in the surrogate server in united kingdom a comparison um, can be made between uh, uh, what are typical cdns in terms of their uh, features and how do they differ from mobile cdns so uh, uh, mostly um, there are a lot of um, similarities but once we look at uh, uh, user location it is fundamentally different in mobile cdn it varies um, the surrogate server placement has to be close to uh, base stations versus the isp in case of uh, cdn uh, then the uh, replica maintenance cost becomes very high in mobile cdn um, the services have to be uh, location based services uh, and the user oriented services because the user is uh, using a limited form factor constraint device the content outsourcing policy uh, has to be in agreement with the um, the origin server so it has to be pushed based because the surrogates are mostly on the receiving end the mobile cdn architecture uh, under centralized uh, uh, infrastructure is very simple to understand we have various uh, network providers the cellular providers since it is a centralized infrastructure so the seed there is a central cdn provider and it is connected to various um, cellular and wi-fi providers and is uh, uh, very easy to uh, maintain a lot of consistency is there uh, but in case of ad hoc networks the problem uh, the infrastructure uh, becomes slightly more tricky uh, some kind of uh, consistency replication mirroring uh, and presence of content issues arise because uh, the connectivity is uh, intermittent so you see here uh, we have uh, uh, ad hoc network like uh, mobile ad hoc network which is the collection of uh, mobile phones in ad hoc mode or the hotspot mode which are connecting uh, to the content delivery network uh, through each other um, then there is a vehicular ad hoc network um, vanet in which the vehicles with their built in wireless connectivity talk to each other to reach out to another cdn provider now the proximity is a very important concern because the batteries of these wireless devices get uh, drained or depleted rather very quickly and uh, these uh, devices in case of um, ad hoc mode have to do a lot of forwarding or uh, relaying which otherwise was not a requirement in uh, uh, central uh, wireless infrastructure so you see a comparison can be made between uh the ad hoc deployment and the centralized deployment in terms of the complexity that would appear this is from rajkumar bhaiya content delivery networks